Welcome to what will be a very brief, rapid revision session covering the main points of Little Crow's War. We'll only spend a couple of minutes on this, so let's get into it. Little Crow's War, 1862. Here are the basic points that you need to know. Who was involved? Little Crow, pictured at the top right there, who was a warrior leader of a band of the Dakota Sioux. What did they do? Well, the Indians were desperately hungry. They'd been resorting to eating grass, as government agents had refused to release food stocks claiming that the Indians had been breaking the 1851 Fort Laramie Treaty. In reality, they'd kind of been backed into a corner on this one. Little Crow initially resisted the war, but then he led raids on the agencies, burnt down their warehouses, and led a general attack on white settlers and Sioux land. 700 soldiers and settlers were killed. To take an extra moment on this, it's easy to understand the anger of the Plains Indians here. There was plenty of food available, but it was simply being withheld from them. And that's pretty inhuman. You've got a group of people who are genuinely starving. They've been cut off from their usual supplies of food, for example, the buffalo. And there is food there, but they're not being given it as a deliberate punishment. So where did all this take place? The Dakota Sioux Reservation in southern Minnesota. When? In August of 1862. And ultimately, why? Well, the Sioux's crops had failed due to disease and their government annuity hadn't been paid. Remember, an annuity is an annual payment by the government in return for abiding by the, uh, the terms of the 1851 Fort Laramie Treaty. Little Crow also believed that the army wouldn't respond to any attacks due to the Civil War. He figured that the entire Union army was tied up fighting the Confederates. So what were its importance and outcomes? 400 Sioux were sentenced to death after the war but only 38 with specific evidence against them were actually killed. The rest of the Sioux had to move on to the Crow Creek Reservation, which was barren, and that was punishment enough. Around 400 died of hunger in the first winter, with some, as I say, resorting to eating grass. Little Crow later died in a firefight with settlers there. Ultimately, it might be surprising that, given the later actions against the Plains Indians, the American government weren't more harsh here and they didn't execute more people. But ultimately, President Lincoln was concerned that he didn't want to have to fight a war against the Indians at the same time that he was trying to fight for the survival of the United States in the Civil War versus the Confederacy. So in a way, it was enough to try and keep Little Crow's band in some sort of control without broadening the war and stretching the US Army beyond breaking point. But it's still very brutal treatment. So how do we sum this up? Some final points then. Little Crow's War was caused by Indian reliance on the US government and the government's refusal to support the Indians. The government accused the Indians of breaking treaties, but others might say that the Indians were in an impossible situation and they couldn't avoid this. Although few Indians were executed, especially compared to later events, it marked a decline in relations between the US government and the Indians. That concludes this really quite brief rapid revision session. I hope it's been useful to you and you've got what you need. If you have, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you've got a topic that you're desperate for me to do a rapid revision video on, pop it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Other than that, I'll say thanks very much for watching and goodbye.